Welcome everyone to a video tutorial where I discuss Fibonacci numbers and show you how to program um, something that lists them. So basically what a Fibonacci number is, in fact I'll, I'll start it so that you can see, is where you have, you start with 0 and 1, you add them together and you get 1, and then you add 1 and 1 together and you get 2, and then you add 1 and 2 together and you get 3, 5, 8, 13, etc. And this goes on for quite some time, as really as, as many times as you want it to. Um, but this is actually a common assignment you'll get when you're learning programming like in college or something, or any, any class that you take, is to program uh, an application that will output Fibonacci numbers. So I've done this just to kind of show you what it is, so if it's confusing to you, you can kind of be like, oh, okay, this makes more sense now that he showed me how to do it. Um, so we'll start over here. In fact, I can keep this up. No, I can't because I'm going to be selecting. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here so that it can be easier to see my code. So we'll start at the top. Um, button click, of course, you get there by doing this. So that's a button click when you click it. So we'll need three variables because we'll be swapping. So one of these needs to be used for swapping. It's going to store the first variable and the second one, the ones you're going to be adding. And this will store what it was um, before. That way you can keep it in order. So first thing you want to do, since you're automatically starting at 0 and 1, is you want to put to the text box 0 and 1, first and second. And that'll just happen once as you click the button. Next thing you want is a loop. So I've got a for loop here, and it's going to go for 100 rounds. So we start with int i is equal to 0. So i is equal to 0, think of it like algebra. And then while i is less than 100, it'll continue to increase by 1. So the plus plus basically means i is equal to 1 greater than it was before. Um, so this will execute and execute and execute, and then one will go from it will go from zero to one to two to three, etc., all the way up to a hundred, or actually rather to ninety nine, since it started on zero and we're counting that it's a hundred iterations. And then first, what we want to do, since we've already done the first operation here, we want to add the numbers. So third becomes the second one, so you can store it, and because you're going to be changing the second one's value, and you don't want that to screw up. Um, this calculation here. So you store it and then you do the calculation, you add the two numbers together and then you swap so that the first becomes the second. So you're basically you're moving down the line from this one to this one to this one to this one etc. And then you want to output that with the rich text box and of course plus equals equals is um it's added to. It's like don't don't overwrite there are already text but add this onto the end append it so we'll do the second number dot two string and then slash r slash n is uh, enter space so like if that was removed they'd all be on one line instead of on their own individual line um so yeah and then the other thing i should point out is that i'm using double because the numbers get very large and int can't exactly handle huge numbers so yeah that's um that's how you do Fibonacci numbers in C-sharp, and I hope this helped you out. Uh, so leave a like if, you, uh, if it helped you, and leave a comment if you want to see something else done. Like if you want to know how to program just about anything in C-sharp, just uh, leave a comment and request it, and I'll, I'll probably do it. So um, yeah, that's all for now, and see everyone later. Bye.